Hey everyone, welcome back to Project Happy Home. For those of you who are new here, I'm Tanya, a doctor, lawyer, turned homeschool mom of three kids ages 12, 9, and 7. If you're interested in videos about secular homeschooling, raising a child with ADHD, and living a more essentialist lifestyle, you've come to the right place, so be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you this series, the Bones series from Dr. Bonified. And these were all sent to me for a reduced price in exchange for this review from Timberdoodle.com. If you haven't looked into Timberdoodle.com yet, I strongly urge you to do so. I find a lot of fun activities that are great appropriate from Timberdoodle.com's website. You can also buy an entire curriculum kit, whether it is religious or non-religious from there. But what I use it mainly for is to look around for activities that might supplement what we're already doing in a really educational and fun way. One of those activities are these books by Dr. Bonifide. I believe there's about 12 in the entire series that covers various different features of anatomy and physiology, but these are actually just on the bones. So it goes from book one to book four. There's bones of the hand, arm, and shoulder, bones of the foot, leg, and pelvis, bones of the rib cage and spine, and then finally bones of the head, face, and neck. So if you flip through them, they are really fun. They have a really nice mixture of different activities and they switch between more didactic type lecture material and jokes. I like that the book has a table of contents in every book. So it goes from the skeleton through the upper extremities, phalanges, metacarpals, carpals, arm and shoulder bones, bonus knowledge, and there is a glossary. So since this is book one, it starts off and introduces Dr. Bonafide. It talks about different bones in our skeleton, words like osteology, osteologists. They talk about the number of bones that we have, the structure. There's very few words on any given page. So this is a book that you can actually use across grade levels. I would say you could use it as early as first grade, even kindergarten if you have a kid who's really interested in it. There's lots of different graphics included, whether they be actual photographs, whether they be actual photographs or um, cartoons like this. So when they start with your hands, you'll notice that the whole entire series uses typography to help them remember things. So you have like metacarpals here, metacarpal one, two, three, four, and five. You have all the different bones of the wrist labeled as well as the phalanges. It has little activities and questions and math activities for you as well. The distal phalanges, there's all these little jokes in here. Another cool feature of the book is that you have these like 3D glasses in the back and it just makes some of it a little bit more interactive. There's some hidden jokes in here. There are, um, you know, things that you're going to see in here. So you can see in this page, when you look at it with the glasses, you'll see the bones show up. So it's like an x-ray uh, that the students can do themselves. You have little activities like you trace your own hand, you draw on your own phalanges, there's mazes. So I really like how interactive these pages are. Here you have some sign language alphabets. There are review pages as well, so that once you learn about that particular area, they can review that knowledge. So now you're moving on to the metacarpals here. There's little cartoons and games and songs that you can play. If you were to do notebooking with this, you could actually remove some of these pages and add them to your notebook, or you can have the student do some of the drawing activities in a separate science notebook. But I think this is a really nice combination of textbook and activity. If you have multiple children, you can definitely make copies of pages like this for them all to do together. There's actual x-rays in there for them to look at. They talk about bone marrow and joints and nutrition. And there's a bone density quiz towards the end. There also is an answer key. When you go through the subsequent books, you see very similar styles here. So you see phalanges, You've got the toes and the feet here, and you're gonna go through in a very, very similar way. You'll notice here, there are some uh, activities that you can do as well. And again, there's those hidden activities and hidden x-ray glasses where they would come into play. And if you look, every single book has its own copy of x-ray glasses. So if you buy the whole bone set and you have four, four children, they could each keep their own pair of glasses and you wouldn't have to pass them around or anything. And I'm just gonna quickly flip through book three so you can see that it's very similar as well. You've got these cartoons, you've got word searches, a lot of good diagrams of the different types of bones in your, in your spine. And finally, you have the bones of the head, face, and neck. So you have Galapagos Island, like Galapagos Island, and 
you have very similar activities here. But again, like I said, it goes through in a really interactive way um, to talk about different types of skulls, different animal skulls, how your bones uh, in your skull differ from the bones everywhere else, ear bones, etc. So you've got the um, etymology of a lot of these words and a lot of different activities. And they even go past the bones and tell you a little bit about the different lobes of the brain. And every book also has a glossary section at the end, and that's always really useful. So I think this is actually really well done. If you wanted to do a comprehensive kind of anatomy lesson um, about the skeletal system, these books would definitely be a great place to not only start, but actually like round out your whole study. I think this is a really age appropriate introduction to the skeletal system. So if you wanna look into that again, I will link everything about timberdoodle.com and this particular set on timberdoodle.com store in the description box down below. So be sure to check that out. As always, when you use my affiliate links, I really do appreciate it. It helps the companies know that somebody's watching my videos and they send me more things to review, which I appreciate. It also keeps me motivated to keep doing review videos for you all. And you know, that's always nice. So as always, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for spending some of it with me and I wish you the very best day.